Hey guys, good morning. I have spent the morning um, just getting stuff kind of cleaned up. I, my lips look a little red today. Look at my hair, look at my little curly ponytail. I just took out my braids from yesterday and I'm not even going to bother with it, honestly. I um, feel like I was missing some hair there. I'm not even going to bother with it because honestly I'll probably wash it tomorrow or the next day, I don't know. And the whole week it's supposed to be raining. It was ugly yesterday. It's supposed to be ugly the entire week and I have to leave today to get the girls, which is going to be my first outing again. Getting, actually, I don't think I've picked up everyone from school yet. It's going to be my first time. So I'm wearing this dress from Walmart. I don't feel super comfortable in it. I felt a lot more comfortable in it when I was pregnant because this was like stretched out and it looked cute. Um, now I don't feel like I look that cute in it. <laughs> it shows a little bit more of my rolls and stuff. So a little insecure today, but I was like, you know what? I'm, I already put it on. I'm not even going to mess with it. So what I'm doing right now is kind of cleaning up the bedroom. Oh, I got a hair in my eye because our bedroom is a wreck. I have clothes everywhere. I have stuff here that I want to go through. Um, this stuff needs to go downstairs. This is my old pump. I kind of separated all the parts to see exactly what I have. And I have so much, so much stuff. Like I have all kinds of storage bottles, um, two manual pumps. I have flanges galore. I have a whole bunch because I had not only the Medela in style, but I also had the two of the um, symphony parts. Like I had two bags, one from this pregnancy, one from Autumn's pregnancy that I had all the pump parts in here. That's where I got some of the storage bottles and stuff from. I mean, but let's be real. I'm not really pumping. I don't need the storage bottles, but I'm just going to keep everything together. If I either have a friend that needs it, I'm going to sterilize, take everything downstairs and sterilize it all, clean it all up. I'm actually going to maybe try this pump again. Um, I prefer the Spectra. I had preferred it before as well, um, which is this one. I have the S2 downstairs. This is the new one my insurance sent me. And I just haven't done anything with it. It's been sitting here. So I want to take this down to um, either the woman's shelter downtown or see if somebody on Facebook wants it or something like that. And then I have some maternity clothes that I'm never going to use again and they're too big for me now so I actually back to this I wanted to try it to see if it helps me produce more because with Autumn I had this one the Medela in style with Maddie and then with Autumn I started with this one and I ended up buying that one that's why I have two of them and um, it helps me produce more the Spectra but you know I've been nursing like a hundred percent nursing Everly and haven't really been pumping that much. In fact, I haven't pumped in over a week because I've just been nursing her around the clock. So I'm gonna try it and see how it goes. And if it doesn't go that well, I'm going to get rid of this one too. I have a sound machine that was sitting back there. I have, um, like I said, some um, maternity stuff, plus size maternity stuff. I pulled out some of our files so I could put some stuff away. I'm just trying to get the room cleaned up. The rest made the bed for me and I just, I feel cluttered. When I come in here, like I have extra baby clothes sitting over there that are going to have to sit there for right now until she grows into them. And then I'm slowly either packing away some of her special baby clothes or just getting rid of the other ones because like I said, no more kiddos in our future. So, <laughs> um, I already know we're going to be getting rid of everything and those were already hand me down to begin with. So whatever's not working for Everly, I'm just getting rid of. But for right now, I don't have anywhere else to put it. So that is what my project is going on as uh, happening this morning. And it look everything looks a lot better up here. Got the dresser cleaned off. We got a new camera for Everly, which if I like it, I will let you guys know we got it off Amazon for a really great deal. We got the camera and the the monitor. It's way bigger than Autumn's monitor. Hers is just like a little, I don't know, two and a half inch screen, and Everly's is a five inch screen. So if we end up liking it, I will share it with you guys. But back there, just some extra pillows and the extra piece to the pack and play. So. Yeah, I just, I'm trying to get everything kind of cleaned up. Like I said, I have junk everywhere. So that's what we're doing this morning until Everly wakes up. And then I will be um, 
getting it going down to feed her and getting on with my day. These are the nails that I have left from my Color Street nails that I have on my nails. I only have five of them. These two are going to be for my big toes and then I'm going to divvy up these onto my smaller toes. And the color street on my toes lasts a really long time, so I'm hoping to get at least like three weeks out of this pedicure because then I feel like Everly will be, you know, eight to nine weeks and I probably at that point could go get a pedicure. Right now I'm just not in that stage where I feel comfortable taking her to go get a pedicure. So I'm gonna do it myself at home. Also, if you follow me on Instagram, I just posted a long Instagram story about um, <laughs> just getting fluffier by the minute about breastfeeding and just like some tips and stuff like that. Not from me because clearly I'm not like an expert breastfeeder, but asking for tips. You guys have helped me a ton with different things and Instagram has kind of been my go-to to get like quick answers. So if you follow me over on Instagram, which if you don't, my handle is hk1122. You can go follow me over there. I've been trying to post more frequently, just little like fun things. It's hard because I feel like when you daily vlog, if you show anything on Instagram, it's going to double up onto the daily vlog. I don't know, maybe like I follow a bunch of Instagram influencers that do not vlog and they like vlog daily in their Instagram stories, show things that they love, whatever. And I would love to do that, but I do that here on a daily vlog, so it just seems redundant. But I do try and post, I've been trying to post more regularly over there, um, whether it be just in my feed or on my stories. So go follow me if you don't. My toes aren't looking the greatest right now, but like my actual feet, but my nail polish is nice and pristine. I used all five of what was left and um, those of you that have a foot fetish, here you go. <laughs> like I said, they're not very pretty right now, but at least I know the polish will last a long time. Rodita. <laughs> She's exactly the lazy cat that I always wanted. <laughs> she does literally nothing all day long besides sleep on her cat tree. And I love it. That's the best kind of cat. If I'm laying in the chair, she doesn't come to me as much when I'm on the couch, but... If I'm laying in the chair, she'll come lay with us, but most of the time she's just sitting up there, snoozing away, staring out the window, wishing she were outside. That's about it. Everly's been so good today. So good. Yesterday was a bit of a struggle. We stayed like this most of the day. Today I actually was productive. I got to look at my class this morning. While the rest was here, I got some stuff organized upstairs. I feel pretty good. I got my toes done. <laughs> she just started to kind of whine. And I mean, she had just eaten. I'm going to try and feed her again before I have to go pick up everyone from school. But, um, you're so beautiful. Yeah. It's like, mom, I was cozy. What are you doing? <laughs> you're so pretty. Oh, I could just stare at her all day long. Unfortunately, I have school. So I did get to look. I have one more little like pre-test thing that I have to do by tomorrow and I have an assignment due on Friday, but I can do that. I wanted to make sure I didn't have anything like pressing that needed to be done today or tomorrow. I may try and do the test a little later and the rest doesn't get off, to, uh, off of work until late. I don't know what we're doing for dinner tonight. I'm going to look up an instant pot recipe, I think, for some chicken. I just don't know how I'm gonna cook it yet, but for right now, yeah, the mom. <laughs> We're going to just lay here and cuddle for a little while, huh? But you've been so good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't wait until, like, kissing her and talking to her and she smiles and giggles. Those are the best times. They're all good. But it's so nice when they can interact back with you. So. Anyway, we're gonna cuddle for a little while and then I have to get on dinner. We made it home, I survived. Ah. It ain't everybody. <laughs> now they're getting changed. I have nothing for dinner, but you know what? My big girls can fend for themselves. They will be fine. I'm gonna sit here and feed Everly and um, y'all can make dinner, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> All I have to do is Thank do goodness for them. Oh my gosh, you ready, mama? Uh -huh. Let's eat. So, today for dinner we are making um bagel pizzas with some salad. And so for um dinner, 
Mommy's feeding Everly, like she said earlier. So we are making the pizzas for dinner. Last night, Mommy, uh, Nana, and Daddy had some leftover salad for dinner. So they saved that salad, and we and we might use this. We might use it for this meal, or we might make a new salad. So this is right now. We're on the few steps where we are um, cheesing the bagel pizzas. We're, um, we're, we're English muffins. We're, we're almost we're almost on the pepperoni. I need to see the pizza so I can. Maddie, let, let. So right now we just fin me and Maddie just finished putting pepperoni on the on the English muffins. So this is how they look so far. Okay, this is the monitor. Isn't this thing awesome? It's huge. <laughs> and it tells you the time and the um, degree in the room and the whole thing. It's just super cool. Uh, anyway, I don't, this is the brand. I don't know still if we love it. So far, so good. I'll link it down below. We got it on Amazon for really cheap, actually. The one camera and the monitor was around $80. So pretty exciting. I laid her down. I shut the door. I laid her down the room pitch black. I didn't put her on a swaddle though because I didn't have one upstairs and I'm trying to get the big girls ready for bed and clearly it's almost 8 p.m. so we're running a little behind today but that's okay. Everything worked out well. The big girls were big champs and helped a lot making dinner. They ate. We did homework and that was the end of it. <laughs> they, we didn't get late. We didn't get home until pretty late so they were really good. I'm very grateful for them. They did an awesome job today. Normally I would have daddy here to help, but he's not here. So we gotta make it work, right? <laughs> and also, I helped make pizza. You did, you're right. <laughs> okay, when this thing, can you hear it? It plays lullabies. We have a Google, oh, whatever that thing is right there, you see it? Google Hub, at the small display in there. So I've told Google to play lullabies before, but this thing plays lullabies, pretty cool she's out for right now at least she'll be up probably here I don't know in the next few hours but it's 8 24 everybody's in bed and autumn went down first she was in bed by like 8 5 Maddie was in bed by like 8 10 Emmy just went to bed um and Everly was I put her to bed after I put autumn to bed so no actually I put her in bed before autumn and she just fell asleep a little while ago so winning hopefully <laughs> it'll stay like that that was a huge triumph I'm editing the vlog right now I'm actually almost done and I'm hoping I will call it like a win for tonight if I can get the vlog edited and uploaded before Everly wakes up because none of the other girls wake up they all went potty and everything before bed the only time they get up in the middle of the night is that they have to go to the bathroom other than that they all sleep through the night I don't have to worry about that but we'll see if she gets up or not. I better not jinx myself. <laughs> Let me go back to editing before she does wake up. Oh my gosh, my hair just keeps getting lovelier and lovelier throughout the day. Lord, uh, that didn't last very long. She was up probably 20 minutes after that last clip. Um, but now the vlog is up, exported, uploaded, set live. And it is 10.08 p.m. I went to go get her, like I literally hit live and she started crying. So I went to go pick her up and fed her, brought her down here. It was like a process to feed and everything and burp her. I got her in her PJs, swaddled, and now she's laying down, 10.08 p.m. So I'm going to kind of wait maybe 45 minutes hopefully she stays like that and actually goes to sleep before i actually go upstairs to go to bed but i'm i need a little snack normally i would try not to eat this late but i need a little snack and anytime i feel like i need a snack i i need to get one because if i don't then my mind just wanders with where I, what I need to eat and just various things. It's just, 
it's a problem. So I try and listen to my body. If I need a snack, I need a snack. Um, you know, so. And I also have not had my nightly built bar. So that is a snack. I'm going to have my peanut butter built bar. So good. My other flavor should be here. I think tomorrow, maybe the next day. So I'm excited for that. I haven't left my love for coconut, but the peanut butter is where it's at. It's so good. So now I'm going to sit down and watch. What am I watching? Oh, my big fat fabulous life. I love Whitney. I follow her on social media too. Relax my back a little bit and cross my fingers that everybody stays in bed. Oh, also, I promised one of you on Instagram that I would talk about her name. So, the way that we picked Everly, I totally forgot that I had said, I had mentioned that I would talk about how we chose her name, and I never, I never did. She's almost six weeks old, and I just totally forgot. Um, so, the way that we choose, chose her name, um, we were actually really tossed up. And the rest did not. So, when we found out she was a girl, way back when, feels like, I immediately started with girl names. I had a list back from Maddie on my phone of girl and boy names that I really enjoyed. Clearly we didn't use any boy names because we only have girls, but I had boy and girl names that we really liked. So I knew with Maddie, like right off the bat, our number one boy name at the time was Blake. Funny enough, like one of my friends had a, her son like 10 days after Maddie and she named him Blake but anyway I knew right off the bat once we found out she was a girl I knew her name was going to be Madeline Grace like I just knew that I wanted to nickname her Maddie and we called her Maddie from in the womb like when she was a baby I knew that Emmy her name was Emily when we adopted her and we just didn't change it because she was already a year and a half and that's just we just didn't that was the choice that we made at the time we just kept her name emily and left it like that and we've called her emmy ever since she was a baby i mean well a toddler i've, I've always just called her emmy or mama you guys hear me call them mama all the time as like a term of an endearment is that what it's called i don't know anyway so maddie and then with autumn i honestly never thought that maddie had my initials i mean that crossed my mind like that once we had already named her but we didn't give her the name madeline so that she would match melissa my first initial um and so when we chose autumn it was just one of the names that we had but autumn was between autumn or mia and again if you've been following me for a long time autumn was a surprise gender for me and the rest found out she was a girl at our 20 21 week sano and I never, he never told me her gender. I never, we bought gender neutral everything. I never found out she was a girl until the day of delivery. I had a feeling she was a girl, but I didn't, it wasn't a confirmation for me until the day I delivered her. So um, I either wanted, if she had been a boy, I wanted uh, Ian Matthew. That was my boy name because I had already gotten over the name Blake. That was like done. I wanted uh, either Ian Matthew. Grayson, um, there's one other boy name, I can't remember what it was, but anyway, we never really talked too much about boy or girl names, we just picked a couple and we were like, oh, we'll wait to meet him or her, clearly she was a her, and the two girl names that we were tossed up between was Mia and Autumn, and so when she came out and it was a girl we decided she looked like an autumn but now it's so funny because looking at her I could totally see her being a Mia as well I don't know why I just could so but we ended up naming her autumn and I, I can't I mean she looks like an autumn to me too I, I find like no, we could have named her Sophia and she would have looked like a Sophia you know I feel like people their name grows on them and so that's how we named her so then when we got, when we decided to have one more and we got pregnant the first time, Andres was like, well, if it's a girl, I'd like to name her Mia. And I was like, oh, okay, we'll see. And I was still kind of stuck on boy names because I was like, this is going to be a boy. <laughs> I just kind of had a feeling it was going to be a girl, but I was like trying to think positively. It's going to be a boy. And 
uh, clearly she it wasn't a boy it was a girl and so I scratched all my boy names I don't even I really liked Ian Matthews still that was still a boy name that was in ingrained in my mind I was over Grayson because I knew two people at this point that had named their kid Grayson and so I was like trying not to do names that I've just constantly hear especially being a labor and delivery nurse I hear names all the time and those were names that are super popular so um oh Charlotte was another name that I liked for Autumn but when she came out Charlotte was super popular around that time frame and I just didn't I didn't like it for her Autumn seemed to fit perfectly so anyway when we found out Everly was a girl I was looking through girl names because everything that I had once I found out she was a girl, I really, okay, wait, back, rewind, back to the initial thing. I didn't, we didn't name Autumn to have the same initial as Andres. I actually didn't, eventually I would have noticed it, but I didn't notice that at all. Bia is the one that told me in, right after I delivered Autumn, I was in my postpartum room, she was holding Autumn, and she was like, oh my gosh, this, that's so cute. Maddie is M.M., like you and autumn is am like andres and i was like oh my gosh i never even realized that you're right how cool didn't that didn't even cross my mind like i don't know why but it that was not something that i had even thought about and you guys know i'm all about I like keeping things the same. Like I deliberately delivered autumn on september 1st so she could have a birthday like Maddie October 1st and just you know little things like that and I didn't even notice and then when she, so when she pointed that out I was like oh my gosh you're right that's super cool we have we all have the same initials and immediately my thought was like darn it like Emmy doesn't have an initial so then I had some point had thought about when we got pregnant with Everly about boy names like Elijah or Ethan I really like those names too for an E name for Emmy so that my mind was stuck on that I really wanted an E name because Autumn is an A Maddie is an M and even though Emmy isn't an adult in our family or the child's parent she's their slit their oldest sibling like the person that made us parents like oh that's gonna make me cry that made us parents to begin with and so I just felt it very fitting that we cho chose an e-name whether it was a girl or a boy so then once we found out she was a girl I, Andres really wanted the name Mia just because he had been stuck on the name Mia since autumn and I was the more I thought about it the more in fact the day we found out we had the gender reveal party here we okay we actually you guys I know I'm jumping all over the place sorry we got Lola and originally her name was going to be Mila. If you go back and watch that vlog, I think I talked about wanting to name her Mila and I specifically changed her name because to Lola because I didn't want her name to be Mila and then have a baby named Mia and get confused. And so the day that we, the gender reveal, I was like, oh yeah, I guess we're gonna go ahead and name her Mia. That's what he wants to name her, like talking about the rest. But still in the back of my mind, I was like, no, I really want an e-name. So then afterwards, I talked to him and I was like, honestly, I really don't want the name Mia. It's pretty common, like around this time. In fact, both of the girls had, when we went to go register them in August, or not register for Meet the Teacher, both of them had a Mia in their class. Both of them, in kinder and in fourth grade. And so I told Andres, I was like, it's just too common. I, I don't, I don't want it anymore it's a beautiful name we were going to name autumn that and i like i said i still could totally see her as being a mia but i didn't want that i really wanted an e-name and so it took some convincing because every e-name i was throwing at him he didn't like every single one i even threw everly at him several times because i saw it on a baby name list and then i had an ad pop up one day it was like that's why we didn't name her we didn't choose a name for so long because he, we just couldn't agree he really wanted Mia I really wanted Everly and we couldn't agree and so finally at some point I kept seeing like signs something on my I swear my phone was listening to me on my Facebook page these signs popped up um, that said Everly Rose 
and Everly was spelled different, but it was Everly Rose, and I was like, oh, I just love that name. And then right before I left for maternity leave, like two weeks before, one of my last deliveries, I delivered a baby and my patient named her Everly, but she spelled it weird. It was like E-V-R-L-Y or something like that. And so I texted Andres and I was like, I saw a baby's name today. Her name was Everly. I, it's a sign. Like we, it's just a sign. I feel like this is what her name is meant to be. And so finally he was like, okay, you've been on this name for the entire time. You've been pressing it. I don't want either one of us to like come to the conclusion that we don't like her name. I don't want to name her Mia and you're disappointed. And I was like, I don't want to name her Everly and you're disappointed. And so we went to shortly after her, um, short, shortly after his second surgery back in October, we went for his six week, I think it was his six week follow up. Yeah, because it was just several, it was just a few weeks before I actually delivered Everly. His doctor was like, oh, so you're having another girl? And we we're like, yeah, another girl. And he was like, what's her name gonna be? And Andres was like, Everly. And I was like, no, don't do that. If her name's not gonna be Everly, don't tell people that. He had already told his mom at that point too, and his sister. And so I was like, are you sure you want the name Everly? He's like, I'm sure. It's growing on me. I like the way it rolls off my tongue. Like, I like it. But he, we wanted to spell it different. So my middle name is Lee, L-E-I-G-H. And I knew that's how I wanted to spell it. Everly. E-V-E-R-L-E-I-G-H. And not E-V-E-R-L-Y. That is typically like every baby name list that I saw, it's spelled E-V-E-R-L-Y. So I wanted to spell it Everly the way we ended up spelling it, and that's how we ended up spelling it. And I just thought Everly Page sounded really beautiful together, Everly Page Mendoza. And so now she has the same initials as Emmy, E-M. And that is just what I wanted. On top of that, I just thought, I'm again, I'm like a big sign person. I felt like it was meant to be because my 39, my straight up 39 week date, like induct no um scheduled c-section date was on december 4th which was her birthday december 4th 2019 and you guys know emmy's birthday is 11 4 so i have a 9 1 10 1 11 4 12 4 those are their birthdays and it just is like so cool to me to say that like oh what are your kids birthdays 9 1 10 1 11 4 12 4 so it's like something that her and emmy have in common but their birthdays are both on the fourth just like Maddie and Autumn's are both on the first. They have E names. Maddie and Autumn have A and M names like we do. It just makes it, I don't know. Like, it, I felt like it. she completed our family and I feel like that completed our family. So anyway, oh, I can't. it makes me want to cry. So that is the story behind her name. That's how we came up with it. It was a battle, but it's what I wanted from the get-go and Andres just kind of followed through. We both decided, he, he swears, I picked all the girls' names, but I didn't. He loved Madeline Grace and we chose Autumn and Mia together and then when she was born, we decided it was gonna be Autumn. I wasn't like, oh, her name has to be Autumn because again, her name could have totally been Mia and I, she would have looked exactly like a Mia to me. I don't know. So that was the story behind her name. I felt like I was going to say something else about that, but it's already been a long 15 minutes rambling <laughs> telling that story. Um, yeah, I can't remember. I felt like I had something else on my mind, but that was it. So that's the story behind Everly's name. Um, oh, I know what else I was going to tell you. If I had been smart i would have thought about how we did spell it though i really wanted to spell it like my middle name my middle name is the same as my grandma's middle name and i really wanted to spell it like my middle name but i could have spelled it like my grandma's middle name um which is l-e-e -E instead of l-e-i-g-h and we would have had um their names five six seven and eight letters because Emmy's name is E-M-I-L-Y, five letters. Autumn is A-U-T-U-M-N, six letters. Madeline is M, no, Everly would have been E-V-E-R-L-E-E, -E -E, seven. And then Madeline is M-A-D-E-L-Y-N-N, -N, eight. 
that would have been kind of cool if we had their names would have been five six seven eight letters each but instead it's five six eight nine <laughs> we're missing the seven in there because Everly's is of uh, nine letters and not seven so anyway I didn't think that through very well but that's okay now she has a spelling in my middle name we haven't given any of the girls like middle names or first names significant to either one of our families so that was kind of a tribute to me and my grandma so that's that's it that that was the story behind it a long one i know but hopefully you guys enjoyed it so i'm going to watch my show so far so good she's asleep let's not jinx it fingers crossed i'm gonna try and get some sleep tonight and the rest is off to her and we have lots of errands to run we need to go get her birth certificate we never went to go pick that up poor kid fourth child syndrome <laughs> um we need to go to costco we need to go to the regular grocery store i need to go to the bank I need to go to post office, um, mail out some Color Street, mail out some Etsy stickers. Somebody bought stickers yes, uh, earlier today. Yeah, I just need to do lots of various errands. So I'm hoping to get out of the house early and get some sleep. So I'm going to eat my Built Bar, watch some TV, and chillax. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog, and we'll see you tomorrow.